This is the 101, created by Giger Le Coultre, 1929. At that time, the world was on the brink of the Great Depression. However, it was also a period marked by important technological progress and cultural changes. Watchmaking advanced quickly, focusing on precision, miniaturization, and elegance. It was during that time that Jéger Le Coultre introduced the Caliber 101, the smallest mechanical watch movement ever made, a title that still holds nearly 100 years later. This innovation was based on the dual-plan movement principle, which ingeniously stacked components in two planes to maximize space efficiency. One plane for the regulating organ to be as big as possible, and a second plane to power the hour-minute function. Despite its tiny size, the Caliber 101 offers exceptional performance and reliability. The movement measures only 14 millimeters in length, 4.8 millimeters in width, and 3.4 millimeters in height. Successfully maintaining a large regulating organ within the incredibly small dimensions of the Caliber 101 was a remarkable achievement, while reaching a 30-hour power reserve. This level of performance required exceptional precision and expertise. The Caliber 101's diminutive size allows for exceptional versatility in design, particularly in high jewelry watches. These timepieces often feature elaborate settings and precious materials, showcasing both the movement and the aesthetic artistry of Géger Le Coultre. One of the most famous examples is the watch worn by Queen Elizabeth II during her coronation in 1953, a gift from the French government that epitomizes elegance and prestige. The Caliber 101 exemplifies the spirit of inventiveness and expertise in miniaturization at Géger Le Coultre, solidifying its reputation as the watchmaker of ingenuity. As generations of watchmakers continue to care for each 101 coming back to its birthplace, the legacy of Géger Le Coultre lives on as the watchmaker of watchmakers. Jésus Le Coultre, the watchmaker of watchmakers.